how in the world do you adjust tax slots once you close your position in Interactive Brokers? I know it could be nerve wracking because Interactive Brokers isn't the most intuitive platform, but I'm here to help. So first thing you're gonna do is log in and, and then what you're gonna do is search for optimizer. So specifically what we need is the tax optimizer. And that's basically a tool that lets you uh, modify your tax slots uh, after you close the position. So once you go to this page, it's automatically gonna ask you to download uh, basically a Java application, and that's what we need. So once you download that, go ahead and open it. Uh, and just wait for it to open. While that's downloading, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel if you found this video helpful and if you'd like to see more content on Interactive Brokers. Do you want to run this application? Run. So now that you have the tax optimizer open, the, full, the first thing you'll see here is, by default, it's set to first in, first out. This goes for any broker. So if you were to sell a stock, for example, it's gonna sell in the order that you purchase them. But if you wanna optimize our taxes, uh, we're gonna wanna you know select specified tax law. So in my particular situation, I have positions in Coinbase, NEO, and Tesla, as you can see here. And I most recently sold NEO for a loss. And that's where I want to specify my tax lots. So for the method, I'm going to go ahead and select specify lots. And as you can see down here, it gave me a list of all of my tax lots associated with NEO. So I could see the exact dates that I purchased each of these tax lots, what the price was, what the quantity was, uh, in this case, uh, 15 and 0.15. So essentially 15.15 shares I purchased uh, May of last year. And uh, funny story, I actually wanted to sell those 15.15 shares May 13th of this year. You know, I tried to be a hero and get some tax loss harvesting done. Uh, but funny story is I actually wound up buying extra shares instead of selling those shares. So moral of the story, make sure that you are selling stocks and not buying stocks if your goal is to sell them. But long story short, we're just going to wind up selling 30.3 shares instead just to make up for it. Now, again, in my situation, I bought 30 shares and I'm going to be selling 30 shares. So it doesn't really matter to me. It doesn't really have any impact to optimize tax lots in any shape or form because it's not going to make a difference. But let's say in your case you bought 30 shares on different dates and you and you wind up selling 15 and you want to specify which of these tax lots you want to associate your 15 shares that you just sold so you know hey i bought 15 in May of last year, I bought 15 yesterday and I sold 15 today. But the 15 that I sold today, I want those to be the 15 I bought last year, not the 15 I bought this year. So we're gonna edit that particular tax lot and see where it says 15. All I'm gonna do is type in 15 to match that and hit enter. And it associated that closing of the position with, uh, with that position essentially. So I can hit close. And of course, in your particular case, you can just hit save up here and you'll be good to go. But in my case, you know, since I have, uh, I guess, four different tax slots, it's going to make me match those first. So I'll go ahead and do that. And now that I have all my four tax slots associated, I can go ahead and hit save. And it says, please wait while your changes are saved. And it says your changes have been saved. So we should be good to go and we should be good to close this out. Proceed with exit, yes. And that's how you adjust tax lots on interactive brokers. It's that simple. And if you'd like to learn more about tax lots and tax loss harvesting, be sure to check out this video right here that I made. Uh, hopefully it'll give you some more insight into how taxes work.